in the chef world, there is a big problem of booze and drugs, mm. right? To yeah. keep you going and keep you awake. People are snorting cocaine from penne pasta out the back. Do you, I imagine probably the answer to this is no. But I, as I say, I've worked in restaurants and stuff before. Do you have a drink while you're working? Can you have a little pint? No, oh, <laughs> no, I don't. On, I don't. Why can't Simon <laughs> let you have some fun? For God's sake. No, <laughs> to be fair, I don't think Simon will be that bothered. But uh, it's, <laughs> it's uh, no, no. It's, it's like I say, I'm not a big drinker really. I, Are you not? I've never been. I think when my hangovers started to kick in and I get very bad hangovers, it, it just sort of fizzled out for me. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I love you know I love the occasional beer here and there, but I'm not I'm not a big drinker. I've got to say. Without getting too deep too quickly, there is a I know I've read some articles on that in the chef world there is a big problem of booze and drugs, mm. right? To yeah. Keep you going and keep you awake. I mean, yeah, for, for me it it does get exaggerated. A oh, really? Lot. I I think so. I mean, I've never really obviously I've met occasional people. But I'm sure everyone in every professional will meet that yeah, friend who, who, who yeah for me i've never really experienced anything like you know you see these films and stuff like that and people are snorting cocaine through penne pasta out the back or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. i've just never seen it <laughs> it's, it's, yeah i've read vice articles about this stuff yeah, and I'm yeah. Like, it i think what... i think i think maybe anthony bourdain had a lot to do about that he was a, an amazing chef writer who anthony spoke bourdain. a lot about he wrote a, a book called kitchen confidential which kind of started it all off and okay. some of the stories in that book are what uh I mean, he had a he had a wild life, but he he did live that life, and it. <laughs> but I think now, off the back of that, maybe that was sort of what stemmed that really. Anthony Bourdain. But like I said, that's only from my my personal experience. I've never really experienced it, but yeah, you know, I'm sure it's out there. Like, yeah, I'm sure it is. Anthony Bourdain. So was he a, was he a chef? Anthony Bourdain was a chef who, uh, say, he wrote that book, and then he went on to have an amazing sort of. Uh, he he just made the most amazing food. Uh, programs and stuff like that traveling right. around the world and we'll go to all sorts of places but yeah i, I love his shows he, he unfortunately died he, he committed suicide i think but uh oh god yeah but i mean the, the shows he made were just just incredible i, I love watching this show I feel like I know about him. Okay. also on the podcast we talk about this how scary was it 12 months ago when i mean it's almost exactly a year ago when yeah the country went to lockdown and there was no plan and it was just like okay restaurants closed yeah no it was terrifying it was we didn't know what was going on um obviously the team were worried like what's going to happen there was a lot of restaurants a lot of a lot of companies that were making people redundant and obviously everyone starts to worry ah for more you can go and download the full podcast right now from apple from spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from